Good morning, or afternoon, or daylight savings time. Whatever, whatever time it is. Whatever time. Is daylight savings time a time? No? no. Okay. It's not. Erica and Teresa from Apartment B. So we are just wrapped up week one of full-time RV living. Mm -hmm. And it's had its ups and downs already. Yes. Did you like that? I did. Oh, okay. I didn't. Okay. So we're keeping that all in. Anyways, <laughs> so actually it started off great. Um, the trailer towed good. We didn't have any issues, no flat tires, no, no nothing. Everything was great. And we towed for 14 hours pretty much straight on a weekend. Yeah. Um, so it was a long drive. So 7.45 this morning, we gave birth to our 8,000 pound baby. It was 51 feet long and some odd inches. So we just got into Seneca Nation, which is right kind of towards the PA border almost. And it's really rough roads when you get to here. Most I-90 is okay. I'm not saying it's great, but it's okay. This is like horrible once you get into this. So you gotta slow down. There's a big sign that says, welcome to Seneca Nation. You can see it on the GPS too, that kind of gray area. When it goes gray, you're there but you definitely want to slow down to probably about like 45 miles an hour or so. It's, it is really, really rough when you go through here. And then it gets better once you get out of here, but for some reason the state doesn't do the road. So they don't really maintain it that well. The state doesn't. I mean, it's still a state road. Is it bumpy? but we made it to our destination, everything was good. And we stopped in Columbus to see friends, mm -hmm. and then Bowling Green to see family for the night, and then checked into our campground. Yep, which was right near Mammoth Cave, uh -huh. and which we got a review of that coming as well. Um, so we pulled in, and the first thing we noticed was internet wasn't gonna work. <laughs> None. Um, which, at least this one, we kind of- I had a backup. Yeah, she had a backup, it was kind of one of those we kind of planned ahead a little bit almost because we thought this might happen yeah um so this area just when you look at the coverage maps there's just not a lot of coverage yeah. really actually the whole state of kentucky is very yeah, spotty i talked to my cousin who works for one of the cell phone companies and she explained it to me but basically there just isn't that much coverage here and the campground owner told me about it too so basically i knew this was a possible area we would need a definite backup and we had I kind of prepared my aunt possibly for the need to go work at their house, which I did, and it was fine. I was able to work all week. The only thing was frustrating it was a 35 minute drive to her house. So yeah. it was like, wake up really quick. Like, it was like going to work still. Probably should you know. have just booked a campground right by their house. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, it's a lovely campground, so we don't regret coming here because we really enjoyed it here. But that was like the first of a couple of issues we had. Yeah, so we noticed that right away and we're like, oh crap, what are we gonna do? It was like, well, we got the backup plan. Mm. We'll just, we'll do that. Even though it's gonna be frustrating, whatever. Um, you gotta but kinda so then just I, roll with it. Yeah, so then I did two loads of laundry and didn't check our drain pipe on our tub. And I know I'm supposed to check that because in the Facebook page, everybody complains about the drain pipe on the tub coming mm -hmm. loose or coming from the factory, not really connected. Um, so I didn't check that and so we had two loads of laundry which would be about 16 gallons of water flow basically the pipes were like this so a lot of it went into the pipe a lot of it but a lot of it went underneath under our camper camp. so I, I actually noticed it because i saw dripping coming from the uh vapor barrier that's underneath the camper and i was like oh crap i know what's wrong <laughs> so anyways I, I opened up the little compartment tightened it up 
and we just kept an eye on it for a few days. Everything was kept good. Kept it open, the little compartment. Tried to dry it out as yeah, best we could. Yeah, and let it dry out and everything. Kind of just hoping for the best there. Yeah, so when I get home, I probably will take that all down um, in like eight months when yeah. we get home. Oh. Um, and just hopefully there's no mold or anything we growing under there. We could do it there, then. We're so. in Raleigh. We could do it then. Yeah, I could do it then too. We'll be at my sister's for a while too. So anyway, so that happened and I was hoping maybe that would be the only plumbing issue because I don't like plumbing. <laughs> I'm fine with electrical, electrical. carpentry, roofing, right. everything. I don't like plumbing. Mm -hmm. um, so then the sink, I've got a connector that goes onto the sink to hook up the washing machine. Thought that was all fine but it doesn't like to thread on and it really fights me. And it didn't seal once and water actually went down inside the faucet underneath and then underneath the sink. All of our stuff. And again, I knew that could happen too because I was having a lot of issues with it and right before we left, I was like, I'm gonna get a new faucet. And we're like, well, we'll wait. Yeah. Kind of a deal until it becomes an issue. Well, it was an issue like day one, basically. Um, so I went and I bought a utility sink or utility faucet yeah. and installed that and you can see that here we had water underneath our sink and that's basically because of how i was trying to hook up the washing machine and stuff to it to the nozzle here like the aerator that would go on pulls off i put on a adapter to hook the sink on if the aerator wasn't on quite right so water was actually going into here and then down so went to lowe's and got a new faucet she's watching the simpsons hopefully for about half an hour so i got a new faucet it's not pretty but it's got a hose connection on it it's solid metal kind of a deal so i'm hoping this works a lot better so we'll give it a whirl the one thing that sucks is trying to find one. This is a laundry faucet. Look how long that is. It's still going to fit in the sink without a problem, but still it's going it, to, it looks ridiculous. But it'll be functional, and that's, I guess, more important than anything else. So we're going to get that going, see how it goes. So that actually went really easy. Um, just unscrewed the water lines. First turned off the water, obviously. Unscrewed the water lines. And then I, there's, you know, another little piece that's kind of like a water line piece almost that just holds the faucet on. They're just like two little nuts almost. So those come off and now we have uh -huh. our new faucet. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, Daddy. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's all set. Hopefully laundry will be a little easier. Hopefully it won't leak anything anymore. We will see. Then you thought you had another plumbing issue, which really just turned out to be the <laughs> Gray, me being stupid the gray tank was full yeah i solved that one i thought the sink yeah. was backed up and i'm like oh, here it's like I another another problem off. yeah and then so, i said eric pretty sure the tank's just full yeah <laughs> Easy so then fix. pulled the gray valve we're Everything's good after fine. that um but no, that's it that's the trouble for the week yeah Everything that was, was trouble for the week besides having to drive all over the really, place that's small stuff though like nothing catastrophic yeah. it was an awesome week we had a lot of fun. Because I'm trying to keep track of gas too, how much we're spending on gas. So this week's really going to throw it yeah. off because I had two extra tanks of gas this week driving back and forth. Normally the campgrounds we're going to, we're exploring like the immediate area and there's not going to be a lot of driving during the week. Mm -hmm. It's just the weekends we're going to be driving. Yeah. So this week kind of throws that off. <laughs> It's and this okay. is basically the end of week one and we are about to pack up and head mm -hmm. out to another campground mm -hmm. and we're gonna go there and check that out and they've got a pool which i'm excited about a ool. yeah an ool because there is no pee in my pool yeah although it's well, a campground pool so uh, that's a little iffy um but anyways we're, we're gonna start packing up here in a few minutes mm -hmm. and head to that campground and then we'll have another campground review on that mm -hmm. and we will let you know about week two and all of our issues and yeah. fun and everything else. Oh, we didn't really mention what we did for fun. I know, but I thought you might just show them. I'm gonna show you in this video though. <laughs> I'm gonna include it and like make little cuts and stuff like the professionals do. Yeah, but... I don't know if you can hear me when I whisper. <sighs> Anyways. We did, we did Mammoth Cave Tour, a cave tour. We did that uh, yesterday. Historic, the historic cave tour. Yes, which was mm -hmm. kind of cool, but it was basically like 45 minutes of a jog Yes. And then you stopped and listened to a guy talk for a few minutes, and then another 45-minute jog.
jog until you hit some stairs. It was And then so you slowly walked but up the stairs. I yeah. had to carry Blythe through half of it uh, because she fell asleep. She was running, running, running. She was having so much fun. And then all of a sudden she goes, Mama, I'm tired. So I pick her up and she falls asleep. So I carried her. I mean, you're talking 400 steps. It's a lot of stairs. Yeah. A lot of, like, certain parts. There's this one area. In the, what did they call it? Fat, Fat man's, man's misery. misery. And it's like this really cool, like, meandering, tight area and you're squatting and you're like, like from basically from waist down it's like narrow this wide I, mean, I could <laughs> you can't really see through it so and but I'm you got to go sideways okay. through it and all that and then you know up up above it's wider but waist down it's really narrow but it wasn't like difficult you just you don't want to be a big person honest to god you don't want to be a big person going through there but that was cool it just was like eric said it was like uh, 45 and minutes of running i would look at <laughs> i would look at different tours yeah. I, I just wouldn't recommend the historic tour you see a lot of the cave it's yeah. nice but it's basically like it's a rushed. 45 minute mall speed walk and then you stop for a couple minutes yeah. and then like another 45 minute mall speed walk um so that was the only thing i didn't like about we heard it the frozen niagara tour is really great um there's like a a, like a headlamp tour where you kind of like go around there's all different yeah. kinds of tours i'd recommend doing something else but we loved the cave itself it was an awesome experience can you hold this can you hold this okay hold it this way see we're gonna Look right above you. Like the cave? And that was one thing we did. And then during the week, I did a couple things. One by myself, one with Blythe. Uh, the one by myself, I zip lined through Mega Caverns. Um, and Mega in Caverns Louisville. is in Louisville. And it's basically, or if you're from New the north, it's Louisville. Louisville. But don't Down say here, that. it's Louisville. Um, so anyway, it's basically, it's an old mine that they couldn't mine anymore. Mm -hmm. And they made it like a little tourist trap and they use it for storage and it's kind of cool they like store people's boats rvs that kind of stuff uh warner brothers has a safe down there for um old video and everything and then the other side is like a zip line tour and it, it was cool the zip line wasn't as cool as actually going through the mine basically um i've never been in a mine before so it was just it was neat to me anyways um so that was cool though the zip line tour through mega caverns and he was then, able to do that because of my aunts watch blythe for mm -hmm. him thank you Thank you. And then later on in the week, we went to, I took Blythe to two parks. We went to the under... Onks Cave? What was, was it? it? With the kangaroo? Yeah, it was part of, what, down under zoo or something like that? Yeah. Um, it was like a petting zoo, zoo on top and then a cave underneath. And they just had like a little quick cave. It wasn't much of a cave, but it was actually really pretty in there and it was like really well lit and everything else. It was neat. Blythe liked um, that, except for the emo yeah we so it's got like a petting zoo in it and there's a couple cool things and i'll give you a couple tips in a second but um the one petting zoo there's like emos up at front and you can feed them and i went to set the camera down and she was trying to feed them with like a little piece of food like this so the emu went yeah and um then she screamed and cried and was scared and wouldn't like go near anything <laughs> Sorry, for like an I hour laugh, but. 
<laughs> it's frustrating though because I spent like six dollars on like food for the kangaroos and she didn't want to feed them but you do get to feed kangaroos which is really cool and you can pet them and she warmed up to them after a little bit it took a little while um, and then you did dinosaur world and we did dinosaur with world. family and that was okay yeah right? di it was basically dinosaur world is basically like a paved hike um, and they've got all these big fiberglass dinosaurs everywhere and it's it's cool for kids um, and they've got a little playground and that's a big reason I went because Blythe hasn't been on a playground all week so we went to dinosaur world dinosaur world was like 12 bucks yeah. the zoo was like $26 uh, which was a little pricier but you did go on a little cave tour as well mm -hmm. and you know so I, I think the zoo was worth it just because you get to pet a kangaroo yeah I mean what? Kangaroos hop. Do you want to feed them? Okay. Put your hand out. See, look, he just holds on to your hand like this. I mean, who else has pet a kangaroo unless he lived in Australia? And we're not from the down under. We're not. We're from upstate New upstate. York. It's the complete well, opposite. Western. So definitely worth checking out the zoo dinosaur yeah. world was pretty cool if you have little kids that are really into dinosaurs There's they will love stuff it to do too we just didn't have time to do it all because we were going back and forth but yeah. um there's like canoe trips mm -hmm. other caves private caves you can do so there's a ton to do here if you and don't. there's a ton ton of tours for mammoth cave yeah you know the one we went on we didn't really like yeah. that much but there's other ones you to do see a different tour every day if you stayed here long enough yeah so worth the trip out here we yeah. loved it first national Park no. Of well, with the camper, yes. 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 Second national park we've been to as a With family. Blythe. Third national park together, I think. Because Shenandoah National oh, Park. Oh, yeah, Shenandoah. Yeah, which is really basically the same as the one in Tennessee. but We're rambling. Yeah, anyways. Sorry. So, anyways, that was week one. And we will catch you for week two mm -hmm. and give you an update, yeah. see how everything's going. Yeah, and watch for some little videos of some other stuff coming up soon too we better go relieve my aunt yes from watching the toddler and the dog and we gotta start packing up and we have to pack up we will see you next time don't forget to like subscribe all that kind of stuff um hit the bell icon it'll notify you when the next video comes out we're gonna try and get one out every week um but we'll see how it goes i wanted to plan on doing like a daily vlog but i know that's not gonna happen <laughs> so we're trying gonna try to do one or two a week and we're gonna do some cooking episodes too because cooking in an rv not fun so we'll show you how to do that all right we will see you next time